How's it going everyone? It's David here and I am back here at Kennywood for Phantom Fall Fest. Uh, this time I am here for the daytime and I'll also be here this evening as well. Uh, last time I was here was actually opening weekend when about a third of the park was closed off due to a power outage. So it's going to be good to get back over into Lost Kennywood, go on rides like the Exterminator and maybe the Black Widow. Uh, and also I haven't done the Hellbilly Scare Zone or the Voodoo Bayou Haunted Maze yet and we'll get to see what other things we can do today. And this will probably be my last visit where most of the major rides are actually open here at Kennywood until Holiday Lights. So I'm gonna get my final rides in on the season on those. So let's go in and try to have some fun. Made my first ride of the day on the Exterminator and for a Phantom Fall Fest it is more or less a blackout they turn off all the lights inside and I've been on Exterminator many times and even then all the lights turned off it could be pretty disorienting I'm feeling a bit dizzy after that but I actually still had fun it's uh, definitely really fun this time of year had the first ride of the day on Black Widow and this is one that I normally don't get to ride usually because it's either closed or has a really long line and uh, every time I get on this I am reminded that this is one of my favorite flat rides here at the park you get a serious swing on that good positive G's and good weightlessness at the top it's also a good long ride cycle too if you can when it's open and it's not a long line definitely give Black Widow a ride it's great all good. Enjoy your right evening. Due to no line, just had three back to back rides on Phantom's Revenge. It's great, wonderful. I could honestly ride that ride all day long. It never gets old. Looks like they have a trick-or-treat trail that goes around the lagoon through the various Bites and Pints booths. Just had a ride here on the Old Mill for Phantom Fall Fest, and I don't know if it's a happy accident or if it was done on purpose, but I thought it was much darker than usual in there, and there were even a couple moments where there were some very faint strobes going on. Um, again, going into those tunnels, it was a lot darker than it normally is. Usually it has black light on it, 
and it definitely harkens back to the original old mill when it was dark uh, going around in those tunnels. may be the Halloween season, but preparation has already begun for holiday lights. Thus right here with the assembly of the giant Christmas tree. We know that Aero 360 is closed and getting a reverb for 2024, but right now the iconic Kennywood arrows on the arms of the ride have been removed. All right, with the American Coaster Enthusiasts, I'm actually getting a backstage tour of Voodoo Bayou. Can't wait to check this out. Right now, I'm actually about to experience Malice in Wonderland Unleashed three different ways. We are doing a lights on walkthrough tour. We're gonna then do it normally. And then this is what I'm excited about. We're actually going on the second floor of the Steelers experience and we're gonna get a bird's eye view of the maze open to the public. So that's gonna be pretty unique. Uh, definitely looking forward to this. I like this frame.
might be hard to see, but I'm actually chilling out here on a bench inside of the Kennyville Cemetery. And as you can see, I'm here completely all alone. The creepy atmosphere is actually very relaxing here. And uh, this is great. So Voodoo Bayou is open for me on this trip, but as you can see, that line is full and beginning to stretch out onto the midway. I'm probably not going to be doing this uh, today, but I was fortunate enough to get a walkthrough of it earlier today. That's gonna do it from a visit to Kennywood for Phantom Fall Fest. Uh, honestly had a really good day here today. Um, I will say uh, for like the family friendly offerings uh, seem to be pretty minimal. Uh, if you have kids and families, if you wanna have like a good uh, non-scary Halloween event, I highly recommend Idlewild for Halibut. They do a much better job at that. Uh, Kennywood really does excel though uh, for their haunts and their scary atmosphere and all that. And we did a couple of mazes uh, tonight, which was really good. Did not get through Voodoo Bayou this year, mainly because the line was really long, but it's okay because we did have a behind the scenes tour earlier, as well as for Malice in Wonderland Unleashed. That was a very nice treat. So I wanna thank Kennywood and the American Coaster Enthusiasts for that opportunity. Um, got some final rides in on some of the major attractions like Thunderbolt, Phantom's Revenge, uh, Skyrocket, and more, because they will not be open 
uh, for the winter season going into uh, holiday lights. Although Jackrabbit will be open, that will be an operational roller coaster for the winter time. Once again, had a good night, and I always enjoy coming out here to Kennywood for the Halloween season. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like it and subscribe for more content. And with that being said, thank you all for riding, and I'll see you next time.